So um, our group focused on personal bots. Um, I will say that it was a bit of a sort of like way back machine moment for me um, because I worked on the social web like seven or eight years ago and I ended up sort of going through this uh, echolalic moment of just kind of repeating myself. I don't know why, it's sort of like this tick that I have now. And so we talked a lot about kind of, you know, one, what are the, the use cases for personal bots? When are they useful? When are they valuable? Um, what do you want them to do for you? What type of interaction do you want with your own personal bot? How frequently do you want to talk to your bot? How often do you want to update your bot? Do you want to approve everything that your bot says about you to the world? Should we ingest all of your feeds and just sort of automatically add all of your posts to that bot and then have that bot repeat those things when your friends come and ask it things, um, et cetera? Then there are some other questions around what can you do with a bot and how do you personalize the output or the interaction of that bot or what I might call your personal agent um, for you. So we talked a lot about how one of the things that, you know, well, I'll put it this way. If I think back to some of the things that we were working on with a lot of the open social web stuff, and I don't mean open social, but I mean social web that was open uh, stuff back in the day, it was like how do you, one, advertise the services uh, that you use in the web in a public machine readable way? Two, how do you identify or reveal information about yourself. We developed a number of formats for specifying that information. Three, how do you find out where your friends are and where your activities are? We had formats and stuff and specifications for that. Um, the thing that becomes interesting is when you can start to actually do personalized output based on the viewer or accessor of your bot. So if, for example, I access Esther's bot and I'm able to prove to her that it's me, let's say because she gave me an OAuth token, because we just exchange OAuth tokens back and forth all the time, uh, then the bot can actually personalize the information or capabilities that she exposes or shares to me. In other words, if I provide the right token with the right capabilities, I could actually write to her calendar and do certain things. So we sort of talked about a number of things. One, what if we had our own, you know, uh, bot URL, and at the end of that bot URL, I know Amir and I have, again, talked about this a million times, we had sort of a bots.txt or a me.txt or a robots.txt that described yourself, and um, in that piece of information, you had a bunch of endpoints, now I'm losing myself, um, I just lost my train of thought, hold on, it'll come back, what was I talking about? Yep, okay. About on me and information and accessing it, oh, right, so the question is, how do you provide this information in like a machine readable way? Well, one of the things that you can do is you could, one, type in the URL to your personal information and then the bot that's responding to you can personalize its output to you, right? So here's all the things that I want to use, here's the things that I know. Um, or, your, let's say we build this little like bot tool, this personal bot tool, it could generate an image that you could share with bots and those bots would know how to read and ingest the information in that image. Let's say if it's a picture of yourself that has a bunch of QR code-ish stuff around it, like the Facebook QR codes, then that information could actually include information about, for example, where you live. One of the first questions that a lot of bots ask me is like, where are you, what language do you speak? Well, I'd like to be able to take like 40 facts and just give it to these bots. Or I could give it to a personal bot, let's say Esther's bot, and it would suddenly know, oh, this is Chris, oh, you can do these things. So the question is, how do you make that information portable how do you encode that information and what do you do with it? Um, and I think that's kind of like where we spun off into oblivion. So uh, that's, that's where we're.